All right. Welcome to the Mortgage Wise Radio Show and Video Podcast, where we educate and provide expert advice on personal finance, mortgages, and real estate investing. Show me the money. As a result of what we do, our team has helped hundreds of first time buyers, experienced buyers, and real estate investors achieve their goals of home ownership. I wonder if there's a connection there. Here are your executive producers and mortgage advisors, Randy and Veronica Chambliss. All right, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to another episode of the Mortgage Wise Radio Show, guys. We are super excited. We have a very, very special guest today. I am Randy Chambers, the Executive Director of the Louisiana Housing Authority, but I'm also a Corporate Mortgage Branch Manager with Geneva Financial. And I have to my right. I am Veronica Chambliss. I am also a co-branch manager with Geneva Financial and the Director of Housing with Louisiana Housing Authority. So today we want to welcome everyone to episode yes. 18. 18 right? already? Already. All right. oh, we've been dedicated. Yes. So we're going to do it. <laughs> so in this episode, we're going to be discussing who can become a member of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers also known as NARAB, and the benefits of being a member of NARAB with Ms. Denise Washington. Ms. Washington is the president of the New Orleans chapter of the NARAB and a real estate broker and owner of Achieve Realty, <laughs> certified yes. sustainable neighborhood developer, a housing counselor, and educator. She has been a real estate professional since 2003 mm. after purchasing her first residential home at the youthful age of 19 then elevating to investment properties at the age of 21 miss washington mm. has personally experienced and overcame the obstacles and hardship occurring through obtaining and maintaining home ownership she agreed to share her story so that others can be motivated and receive the education needed to acquire real estate build gener generational wealth and help real estate agents, realtors and brokers build their businesses in this unique market. Awesome. Welcome, Welcome Ms. Denise. Welcome, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was an amazing introduction. Oh, so I was like, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I truly appreciate you guys inviting me. Um, it's it's truly a privilege to be with you guys today. I love the Chandler's team. You guys are amazing. Um, but just to go on and talk a little bit more about me, actually, it is just my personal experiences from when I bought my first home at 19 that inspired me to get into the business mm. and oh my god it was a roller coaster ride wow. every horror story that you ever heard about <laughs> becoming a homeowner like I went through it from discrimination when I went in to get my loan to the contractor running off with my money oh. um I ended up in an adjustable rate mortgage, almost lost my home. So pretty much everything that you've heard of that was bad about it, I went through it. But I later learned that God allowed me to go through those things so that I could be in position to educate his people and help them not go through those very things. In it all, he was with me, he led me, guided me, and most importantly, he made the provisions for me to overcome every obstacle. And I mean, I, after everything I went through, I stand before you today, as you said, broker and owner of Achieve Realty, I, I have helped countless, I, I, I can't even tell you how many, I've helped countless um, people become homeowners who never thought that they could be homeowners. Um, NARAB is an amazing organization that is in alignment with my mission and my purpose in this earth, which is to help my people build generational wealth. Mm -hmm. And I have learned that the key to building generational wealth is in real estate. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys realize that the average household wealth for a Black American is $17,000, while our white counterparts is $171,000. Mm-hmm. And the key difference in that amount is home ownership. So it's no question about it. Home ownership is key. So I am here today to just express that NARAD is in the building and our mission and our purpose is to help build generational wealth through home ownership for our people. Also through businesses, that's where, you know, the real estate investment portion comes in at. Um, Being a a real estate professional, look, it's, it's not limited to just realtors. We are about doing what is necessary to help us build generational wealth because we can do it. There is nothing that's stopping us, but us in our lack of knowledge. Absolutely. And, you know, I heard a mentor told me a long time ago that, you know, knowledge, you know, well, doubt, right? Doubt set in, but Mm -hmm. you can diffuse doubt by having a skill set, having knowledge, right? Um, And so with that being said, let's look at that topic, right? That topic is who can be a member of NARAB and what's the benefits of NARAB. So first tell us a little bit, who is NARAB, right? Right. Who could be a member? And then like, what's some of the benefits of that person saying, I want to be a member of this organization? Okay, so let me tell you who NARAB is. All right. NARAB. From the beginning, please. (laughs) NARAB is democracy in housing. We started out back in 1947 when we as African-Americans were not able to um, be realtors. Uh, We were not able to buy real estate. Um, There was a lot of discrimination going on. Um, You know, we were not able to get in neighborhoods. We were not able to get loans. It was very, 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 very difficult to become a homeowner back in 1947. It was also not possible to be a member of the Realtor Association, which if there are any realtors in the room, which I know they are, you know how difficult it is to function and be a real estate professional and not be a member of the board of realtors. The board of realtors gives you access to all of the information and resources that you need to be successful. We were not allowed to be a part of that. So 12 brokers got together and said, hey, we not having this moment. (laughs) So we came together as a civil rights advocacy organization for housing. That's who we are. And it is. it did not stop at um, African-Americans being able to be members of the Realtor Association. Hey, we led the fight for the Fair Housing Act of 1968. That's who we are. Awesome. We led that fight. Yeah. So as president of the New Orleans chapter of NARAB, I'm standing on some, some big shoes, right? But yeah. I will tell you that God has equipped me. I am so passionate about the mission and the purpose. And at the end of the day, the core is democracy and housing. That's who we are. Whatever inequality or whatever issue there is in housing, we here to overcome it. We're here to break the back up off of it. Okay. We not have it. <laughs> That's who we stand. That's what we stand for. That's who we are. As far as who is a member who can join, actually anyone who has anything to do with real estate. Okay. Um, you can be a realtor. You can be a real estate broker. You can be a mortgage lender, mortgage broker. You can um, you can be a landscaper. You can be a contractor. You can be a real estate investor. Um, we even have a subscription membership for aspiring home buyers and um, uh, investors as well. So. Basically, everybody can be a member. <laughs> right, right, exactly, exactly. And that's, that's, so, and that's extremely important because most people are not aware that multiple service providers can be a member. So I'm glad yeah. you mentioned that, and uh, you know, we're super excited to have you have that conversation with our audience um, because we do have a lot of people that's real estate service provider that watch these videos and learn from them. And when they just heard what you just said, I'm sure we're going to be able to 
to motivate some people to look into being members. So that's awesome. Yeah, because a lot of people do share the same mission as you being in this industry and just hearing the name of it kind of make you think that it's only limited to brokers, you know, or yes. agents. And yeah. you the one introduced me to it when you brought me to the meeting and I was super excited. I signed up the same day, I think. Yes, you did. You did. Yeah. Because it's an amazing mission. And and the 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 broker name only comes because it was founded by 12 brokers. So right. that's where the name came from. So I am here to tell it on the mountain and let the whole world know you do not have to be a real estate broker to join. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. And for anybody that's interested in learning more about it. There, like the history of NARAB, you can go to YouTube and type in the history of NARAB, mm -hmm. and it's an awesome video. I mean, it brought me almost to tears. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real. And, and, and the sad part about it is that, you know, over 50 years after the passing of the Fair Housing Act, housing is still not fair. We are yeah. still experiencing. Um, inequalities in so many ways that are, you know, not obvious. And if you lack knowledge, you won't even know. And I'm, I'm, I'm a perfect example. Right, absolutely. Right. So share with us some of the benefits of, you know, that NARAB offer in regards to being just a real estate service provider and are a realtor that are a real estate agent. Say, hey, I, I want to be a part of what's some of the benefits. All right. So the first benefit is that you get knowledge, right? Ah, knowledge is power when it's <laughs> Yes. So we are very, very, very big on um, education. Anything in, in, the, in the real estate industry, we have divisions um, with specialists and you have a nationwide database. So that's kind of another benefit as well. Um, it's so amazing to me when I went to the first national conference um, as being a member of NARAP, I have never been in the room with so many powerful Black people who were willing to share their knowledge. I mean, I could go to lunch at one of the uh, restaurants in the in the hotel and you would end up just sitting at the table with someone you know I'm from New Orleans maybe from California or maybe even New York DC whatever and you're going to get into a conversation where there's an obstacle that you're experiencing someone at the table went through it and has a solution to that issue I mean I have never met anyone uh, in the real estate business that operate how I operate, you know, as a housing counselor and a realtor. I, it's, it's very, very, very unique, but I actually met an amazing broker. And I mean, she is, and she's doing it. I mean, she is phenomenal. That girl just sent me her whole handbook. Like, look, here it is. Just, you know, so it's, you get the opportunity to network with people who are doing what you want to do on a much higher level. And they are not holding back with helping, okay? Um, the organization- I can attest to that. Yes! I can attest to that. And yes. like I say, when I went to the meeting and I signed up immediately and I witnessed that these people in this, um, you know, that was at the meeting, they were just openly sharing information. So this is good for all real estate agents, mm -hmm. especially if you're new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. If you're looking for another outlet to learn more information, this is definitely the organization you want to be in. Yeah. Oh. And we have so many um, partnerships um, with so many organizations nationwide, um, you know, business resources. So again, even, you can be a contractor, whoever, we have resources and connections that are already in place. And as soon as you reach out to somebody and say you're a member of NARAB, they're rolling out the red carpet, whatever information you need, whatever favors you need. I mean, I've, I've been on calls with people at the White House this week due to my position. And, right. you know, the, the his, they're like, look, we know NARAB recommending it. We already know, you know, this is something serious, something good is going to come about this. So what can we do to help? Right. Awesome. Awesome. We love it. We love it. I'm fired up over here because yeah. at the end of the day. <laughs> you got to join. At the end of the day, we need that voice. You know, we need someone to be able to stand up and say, listen, 
this is the direction to go. This is the clear path. Here's the vision, but also here's the plan. And all you have to do is just follow the plan. Mm -hmm. And so we appreciate you for sharing that information. Um, in regards to um, how long have you been the president of the New Orleans chapter? So I was actually installed as the president on the 25th of March of this year. Awesome. Congrats. And I'm really excited about it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. we, we fired up about it. So with, with that being said, I want to switch the topic just a little bit. And we're going to okay. ask you some questions, right? In regards to Ms. T. Denise Washington, right? right? So that first question is, if you could go back in time and coach the younger than these, what advice would you give her? Denise needs to go get some advice. <laughs> Denise needs to go get some guidance before she just went out there and, you know, and tried to figure it out on her own. If I could turn back the hands of time, I would definitely make sure that I reached out and got advice from someone who did what I was trying to do and successfully accomplished it before I did it. Right. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Here's the next question. Why did you decide to become a broker, then also become an owner, and to be able to help the community that we in? Like, why did you make that decision? Well, that's, that's exactly why I wanted to be able to help the community. And the reason why I wanted to be able to help the community was because from my experience in purchasing my first home, it just really like struck up this passion in me to help others accomplish the great benefits that I discovered there mm -hmm. are as being a homeowner. Um, and, and, and from that, I became the, 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 the owner and a broker of Achieve Realty because I didn't want anyone to be able to put limitations on what I could do to help my people. I wanted to be limitless in what I could do. And when you're working for someone else, you know, then you have to go ask, can I do this? Can I do that? I wanted to be in position to do whatever was necessary to help my community. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And how do you like being a housing counselor? I love it. It's actually the, my favorite part of my job, because that is the portion of my job where I actually get to sit down with, um, you know, my people and review, you know, their, their financial profile, their credit profile and teach them, lead them and guide them on how to enhance their quality of life as a whole. And that comes from the housing counseling piece. So that is actually the, my favorite part of my job, because it's not just about buying a house when after they get their housing counseling, they're ready to be business owners. They are ready to and enhance their quality of life as a whole. They are ready to build generational wealth for their family. Absolutely. Right. And then also too, you know, by you being a housing counselor, you're actually helping them to keep that home. So many times exactly. uh, people are able to purchase the home, but they're not able to sustain it. The next thing you know, they're losing it because of the lack of financial education. Mm -hmm. So the housing counselor is very, very critical because from a mortgage standpoint, you have guidelines and, you know, mm -hmm. you have your debt to income ratios and, you know, you can figure out how much home that they can afford based on the industry guideline, but is it affordable for that person? Personally? Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's why in my sessions, I always do, um, I have an additional analysis like, hey, this is what the lender is going to say that you can't afford, but let's, I have a form that I make them fill out showing me everything that they spend money on. And then we look at the net income so we can see what can you really afford? Because for me, it's not about just becoming a homeowner. I need you to be able to stay a homeowner. And yeah. so I provide them with that education in counseling, not just on how to get to the finish line, but to stay in home ownership and being able to continue to um, have opportunities to build generational wealth. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's much needed for us all. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, because if they foreclose, if you foreclose on my block, then you're messing up my value. Mm -hmm. so exactly. It's deeper than that. So the housing counselor piece just intertwine with everything and is, is needed, very needed information. 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's very, very deep. I mean, we're 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 trained as housing counselors to address behaviors like because it's not even just about knowledge, because sometimes we know better, but we still don't do better. So oh, yes. we really, really, really as a housing counselor, I dig in and identify, you know, what what are the behaviors that we need to work on to make sure that we don't repeat you know, past mistakes that kind of, you know, may have put us in a situation, the not the best situation. Exactly. And you know what? Let me back up and correct myself. You are a certified HUD <laughs> housing counselor. Okay. Yeah, let's get that right. I, 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 I think that's very you. important. <laughs> that's important. It's a difference. Yes, yes it is. It makes a big difference. Right. Okay. I mean, you yes. get certificates that yeah. matter. Yes. I have certifications. Okay. <laughs> I'm certified. <laughs> yes, and I'm required to do continued education every year. And the amazing part about that is that it keeps you up to date. Like we, we learn all of the new laws as it pertains to credit because things are always yeah. changing. And that's another thing that's important for you to have to actually be successful um, in building generational wealth is to make sure that you know what's what's current and what's relevant because things are always changing. Always changing, Absolutely. especially in this industry. Mm -hmm. Always. No, yeah. Definitely. Here's the next question. You want to ask? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes, I don't mind. What advice would you give individuals who may be interested in purchasing a home in a current market? Mm -hmm. <laughs> honestly i would give them that same information that i would have given to young denise would be to get out there um of course you know call me so i can be your housing counselor okay um because I'm, I'm i'm not to my own horn but i know i'm good at what i do but um definitely get the knowledge get the information because without it you you can you can be destroyed. That yeah. dream of home ownership can turn into a nightmare. So I would say make sure that you get the right information from the right resource, Absolutely. and that will be achieved really. <laughs> and I can attest to that. You do know what you're doing. I told you in 2013, I think it was. I said, you know what? Because I was a mortgage lender, like I am now. And he was an agent and we worked together so good. I was like, oh my gosh, we never had a hiccup. Everything was just so smooth. The way you position your and prepare your buyers is just awesome. And I told you in 2013, I said, you know what? If I ever get my real estate license, I'm coming to work with you. Yes, and who my broker is? Hey. <laughs> achieve yeah. reality for sure yeah. but that's what we do we we make sure that we look at everything so you don't my goal and my purpose is to make sure that no one who crosses my path has to go through anything that I went through right right yeah and and I know that the reason why I went through everything I went through is because I lack knowledge and that's the key you and have I love that to get the information I love the attitude when I worked at the bank Everybody that came in my to my desk, I always had a, a in my head like for the day. Every day, I was like, you know what? My mission was nobody is gonna leave from in front of my desk without having a solution. Either it's gonna be fixed, or they're gonna know what's the next step. And when I tell you, people used to come into the bank, they would wait for hours for me. A set of appointment. Somebody else may say, even a manager, hey, can I help you? I can help you because Veronica is busy. Oh, no, I'm going to wait. <laughs> or they'll say, send me a note. Hey, give me a call when you can't because they know I was going to solve their problem. Mm -hmm. So. And you know what? I think that's why, you know, so many of our people are discouraged because there's not enough of us out there who have the knowledge that are willing to share it. And right. that's why you should be a member of NARAP because it's yes. so cool of our yes. people who are willing to share that knowledge. Yes. I mean, yes. not many lenders do that. You no. know, they, if you don't qualify, they send you on your way. They're not going to tell you what to do. They're not because they it's, it's time consuming and it's, it's not going to make them any money today. So they don't care, no. you know, and that's the problem. And see me, I look at it like plant, planting seeds. It might not be today, but one day. It's one gone. day. <laughs> that's right. One day. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> now that leads to the question is how can somebody get information about NARAB? to join. Okay, I'm going to type this in the chat, but I want everybody to get out their paper and pens and I want you to write 
New Orleans Realtors, R-E-A-L-T-I-S-T-S dot com. You go to New Orleans Realtors dot com. Um, if you want to join, you just click the join button. Um, that video that, that you were talking about with the NARAP history is on our website as well. Everything that you want to know about us, go to neworleansrealtors.com. That's oh, where you can oh. find us or you can call me. You can reach me at 504-952-2957. Awesome. Awesome. And what about your social media? How can somebody find your social media? Yes. Yeah, so um, we do also have a social media page, New Orleans Realtors. You can find me at Tan Chanel Denise Washington on Facebook, or you can go to Instagram. You can find me at Tan Chanel. You can find Achieve Realty at Achieve underscore Realty, and you can find Achieve Realty on Facebook at Achieve Realty. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure. I'm honored. Um, I'm, it's just been a great opportunity to be able to learn more about NARAB because so many people need to hear the information. We've got to get more people, have to get more people in a home ownership um, perspective. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, um, today we're going to go to our quote of the week. So every week we have a quote and today's quote is going to be you just keep studying. To grow in knowledge, we must continue to study. If you have doubt in any area of your life, the only way to eliminate doubt is through study. Wow. The more information you gather will drive doubt out. That's by Bob Proctor. I'm gonna read it one more time, guys. You just keep studying. We were talking about that the whole time here, learning and growing. Mm -hmm. To grow in knowledge, we must continue to study. If you have any doubt in any area of your life, the only way to eliminate that doubt is through study, learning, growing, obtaining knowledge. But you have to apply that knowledge. <laughs> the more information you gather will drive out the doubt. So with that being said, guys, you enjoy the rest of your day, Ms. Denise. We appreciate you. We honor, ma'am. Enjoy it on purpose. Yeah. And God bless. That brings today's show to a close. Oh, come on! Thank you for listening to the Mortgage Wise Radio Show and Video Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to share it with a friend and subscribe. Please follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at the Mortgage Wise Radio Show. If you want to learn more about what we talked about today, give us a call at 504-270-2783. Or to view our podcast library, please visit our website, themortgagewiseradioshow.com. Autobots, roll out. Until next time, choose to have a great day on purchase, Mortgage Wise friends. Go home. Go home. <laughs>